Quizzes is a teaching platform, but with AI, it allows us to take what we do in quizzes to the next level because we can create those awesome quizzes. They're relevant and fun and engaging for all of our students. They become inclusive. We can create engaging, rigorous activities in a matter of minutes. Let's plan in seconds. You spend your weekend vacationing, barbecuing. We can turn PDFs, YouTube videos, websites, you all, into a quiz. You can digitize your curriculum so that you don't have to have those static worksheets. How about that? And then you can do reading passages with a topic, let AI generate it. Your AI teaching assistant is at work and there is data for everything you create. And we're gonna keep it moving. Over the next few slides, we're gonna talk about the top five ways that you can use Quizzes AI to create resources. So you wanna do this for back to school. Number one, we're gonna take the Quizzes AI Chrome extension, you all, and we're going to turn any website into a quiz. It doesn't matter which educational websites you use. We have a link here if you wanna click those. You can just see how it works. Watch the GIF, GIF, depending on which team you're on, it doesn't matter. But we're going to turn those awesome education websites into a quiz on the spot. Number two. Hold on, please. We I, are going. Hold on, please. It's, it's hard for me not to jump in here because I feel like this is like truly the number one. I feel like, I, again, I got to stop for a second. So this is like so insane, right? Like literally any website, like from your experience and all the teachers you, you talk to all the time, like is there something in particular that you find resonates with, with a lot of teachers as far as like, okay, this is amazing. I can literally be anywhere and just click a button and all of a sudden it turns into a quiz. Like, have you found- Yes. So what I found, the teachers, they love really the, turn it into a comprehension question because you have two choices, but that comprehension question brings that article into the quiz. So students can refer back to that article or that digital content. So I feel like that is a built-in scaffold for students. Who doesn't love that? All right, thanks. All right, now we can keep going. I'm ready now, thanks. All right, number two, we can digitize our curriculum, you all. Any of our resources, whether we have a worksheet, look at this, we can turn a static worksheet or analog worksheet, however you want, into a digital quiz and quizzes. Whether you're using a PowerPoint, you can turn any of your instructional resources into a quiz. So this is an awesome way for us to digitize that curriculum, bring it into quizzes, saving us time. If you don't have a picture of a textbook or if you don't have a worksheet, take a picture of it in the app, upload the image, turn it into a quiz. When I say game changer, I know we could just end right here because Quizzes AI is so amazing. But Kyle, let's go on to number three. Can I say one last thing? I promise, please, I'm going to stop jumping. <laughs> Kyle, you, I know, I, it's exciting. <laughs> I know, even though I, I obviously see this every day, you say this and I was like, oh my gosh, like I, freak, like I get really excited every time it is talked about. And like, I just, again, I wanna make sure people like didn't just like pass over what you just said. Like you said, you can literally take your phone, take a picture of anything, right? And then it'll turn it into a quiz. I don't know, I don't know if you all know John Neal. He like loves to do this at like random spots. Like he'll be at like a pub and he'll take a picture of the menu and be like, let's make a quiz out of this. Or like a sign at like a stadium. And let's take a picture, like it's just like, I don't know. Um, it's just, it's so incredible. Okay, now for real, I will really let you do your thing. And I no, Kyle, it. I love it. Please keep, please keep <laughs> chiming in. All right, you all, number three. Let's see, what are we doing? We can create quizzes from any website. We talked about that. But if you want to paste that URL into quizzes as you're creating it, it will turn your Nat Geo article, and that's one of my go-tos. I love Nat Geo and turn it into an article for my students. We can, once it's turned into an article, you all, we can also use Quizzes AI to enhance it so that we can customize it for our students so that we're meeting the needs of all of our students. We're not leaving anyone behind. Imagine how long it would take you to try to do all of this. Number four, our PDFs. Us, we can also turn PDFs into either a multi-part comprehension quiz or a standalone multiple choice quiz. So you have the option, you are in the driver's seat when it comes to quizzes, AI, the teacher is in total control. And then number five, the slide decks, you all. We can turn, upload our slide decks. We can do any of that, have it turn those into multi-part comprehensions with the slides embedded. Or if we want the standalone questions, we can have that as well. You get the best of both worlds. And 
finally, and I, Kyle, I think this is my favorite one right now, the quizzes lesson extension. I just showed, did two sessions this morning and I showed them this and they were blown away. If you have Google Slides, you can now use those Google Slides, add in this extension, and now you can turn this into an interactive lesson. You can create a quiz, but when I say you, I mean your AI teaching assistant. So we're gonna take advantage of that teaching assistant to do all of this work for you.